So, um, so I'm Grandma Carol. <laughs> Otherwise known as Carol Cook and Susan Krieger. In thinking about the roots of my activism, it feels to me that my UU values have been ingrained in me since birth. Or it might be more accurate to say that, unbeknownst to my parents, I was raised with UU values. They thought that we were Lutherans. <laughs> but I know that they would fit right in here at UUSM. They would have. It did take me a few decades to figure out where I belonged. But my father's civil rights activism and my mother's radical hospitality are permanently imprinted in my being. So, of course, I joined San Mateo County's Pride Initiative as soon as I learned about the group in 2011. Our purpose was to make San Mateo County more visibly welcoming to the LGBTQ plus community and to eventually create a community center here. Over the past 10 years, many of their goals have been met. We now have an active pride center in San Mateo, which offers many services and a county LGBTQ commission and much more. When the Pride Initiative decided to organize the first San Mateo County Pride celebration in 2013, I immediately got all of my communities involved. PFLAG, that's parents, families, and friends of lesbians and gays. El Camino Railers, my square, our square dancing club. Balin's Front Runners, uh, we walk. <laughs> <laughs> and USM. At the 10th annual San Mateo Pride celebration this past summer, all of those communities were still involved. And that makes me feel really good, especially since Susan and I no longer need to staff and organize all the groups and tables, except, of course, for USM. <laughs> hint, hint, volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> um, luckily, there have been so many uh, USM members and staff who have uh, volunteered at the USM booth over the years. Too many to mention, but you know who you are. I do need to say that I'm especially grateful to Susan, who has stuck with me through all of my overcommitments, <laughs> and even more than that, has lent her considerable talents to all of these causes. Before I continue with this reflection, I have an aside reflection. When Carol and I retired 15 years ago, I gave her two things. One was a doll. When you squeezed her hand, she sang, girls just want to have fun. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing was a magnet that said, stop me before I say yes again. <laughs> she gave that magnet away. <laughs> oh well, she worth it. <laughs> The many inequities in our world can be overwhelming, but UUSM has been and still is the right place for us to work on righting wrongs and opening our hearts who all, to all who need to feel that they belong and are seen. And isn't that all of us? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.